Hey everybody, this is Ashley. So welcome on back to my channel. I'm so ready to do this. So this is my makeup collection or uh, declutter start series. It probably This one is going to be mostly focused on my eyeshadow palettes and I probably will declutter a few more things on camera. We'll see. Um, I am just really ready to declutter my eyeshadow palettes in particular and some of my blushes and stuff. So what you're looking at is probably like what you've seen behind me in most of my videos until mm, re recently, but it's kind of on the an angle in the other videos. And this is like where I do my makeup every day. So I actually film in my room. So this is my vanity. And, you know, back when I started YouTube, it was not that full. So maybe I'll put a clip in of what this used to look like <laughs> prior <laughs> when I first started. Uh, what is it? End of 2018. It has definitely grown. So um, I got the table or the vanity situation from Amazon. I'll try to link it down below. The chair came from Amazon, and this is actually, I bought this so I could do my makeup. My ba makeup used to be in my bathroom, so it was just a lot. <laughs> so um, now I have the table, and I got an old pillow there because I'm short, and sometimes I need to sit on a pillow when I'm uh, filming. And now it's grown into two uh, separate little uh, sterilite containers right here. Over here is where I keep majority of my palettes. That's what I used to have. On top, you got some more palettes, some brushes that I was just sent from What's Up Beauty. You will be seeing something on that. And up there, Pat McGrath, tripods. Um, it's just a lot. So yeah, this is a closer view of everything me looking a mess. Don't mind me. I've been pretty sick. Okay. So I'm kind of looking like the ghost of myself. I'm on the mend. Um, but okay. So let's dig in. So right here, I had all of these little containers from the container store and they were in my bathroom. And as you know, they're not cheap. So I had spent a penny, penny on them. So I just kind of repurposed them because when I sit at the vanity, I find that, you know, no mirror that I tried. This is my second mirror because the first mirror I had, it actually fell and it stopped lighting up, um, which could be an issue when I'm doing my makeup for me. But um, no mirror that I had could actually just go high enough. So I made this. So I put, you know, this is one of the stackable units. It had a drawer, but I took the drawer out. So I slid some palettes under here. Same type of deal with this. This is like a four piece situation. I just put this right here. Boom. Good to go. Okay. Now this is a little towel where I wipe my makeup brushes off. It's probably not microfiber, but whatever, you know? So down here we got Natasha Denona, you know, some Pat McGrath. So then I don't have any place to put those lipsticks. Um, let's see. I got a lamp back there for lighting. I got some brushes, some palettes I don't have any room with. Um, um, I have this case for my brushes, for most of my eye brushes, which is great. But you see how when I set it up, that's how you get the marks on the wall. So that does suck. It's the downside of it. Um... The little bear, Kaleidos, more brushes, more brushes. These are single shadows by Colored Rain. Pat McGrath, you know, hockey puck highlighter. And then some lipsticks. Majority of my big mothership palettes. So we have, what, six right there. And then I have two more right there. And then I was like, wait, we're missing one. Okay. <laughs> and the other one is right there. This little situation right here was supposed to be when I got like a new makeup basket, you know, like new products to basically just, you know, go ahead and try out. And now it's like become storage. <laughs> so more Pat McGrath, some Kaleidos, some ABH, some old brushes that I don't use. So I need to get rid of that. These brushes, actually, I just got these ones with the pink handles from What's Up Beauty. So I will be using that very soon. So then I have like this little Sterilite container and in here is like ColourPop stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to do, do away with the uh, Super Shocks for the most part. Some Glam Stop. You kind of like my liquid shadows situation, you know. 
a couple of random singles that I probably have a couple with. Most of my lashes are in here. That needs to be cleaned out. So this drawer, and this thing is heavy, y'all. Like these eyeshadow palettes are heavy. So these are a good majority of my eyeshadow palettes. Well, one drawer. And these drawers are actually pretty deep in terms of depth and go back pretty far. And like I said, it's heavy. Then I have down here. And a lot of the palettes down here in this drawer, I don't really use a whole, whole lot underneath here because nothing can be stored, right? You see more of my smaller ColourPop palettes, all of that jazz. So, whew, that's a lot. Okay, so I have some new palettes there. And like I said, it's just a lot. I have this palette here. I'll talk about that in a moment. Glam Face Palette. It's usually in a drawer. I have more eyeshadow palettes here. <laughs> of course, I have some foundations, but we weren't going to really focus on these lipsticks, you know, lip glosses. It's it's just a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. So we're really just focusing on the eyeshadow palettes today. And then I ran out of space, of course, you know. So then I started transitioning. You see my feet. <laughs> That's small feet. I only wear a six and a half. <laughs> so more palettes. 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 And these are like single containers. Like they just stack on top of each other. This is my Adept palette. I'm you at New. And <laughs> this is a palette that they resent me. And I tried to press some of the shades in because that palette broke. Talked about a couple times how that palette kept breaking. So I tried to repress them. Um, yeah. Down here, we got more palettes. And we have, um, <laughs> this is like a hodgepodge of things. It's just kind of a mixed bag in here. It's palettes. We got a brush down here from the Glam Shop. Um, we have some foundations by El Maquillage. I got to do a campaign with them. Um, yeah, I know that one's uh, it's actually not the right shade. Fun fact, I like the foundation, but that quiz did not do me justice at all. It took quite a while to get my shade. And more palettes underneath there. Like, that's my Cleona. Those are all my Glam Shop singles. It's just a lot. It's magnetic lashes in here. You know, it's just a lot. So, this is how, hey again. I store my makeup, so let's go ahead and jump in to the eyeshadow palette declutter. and get started with this eyeshadow palette collection and declutter video i'm really excited to film this i'm really ready to declutter some things like i mentioned before i'm not going to be decluttering any of my pat mcgrath palettes or my natasha denona palettes and um let's see it might not be a cutthroat declutter but i am trying to i <laughs> I'm ready to get rid of a, quite a few things, so we'll see how I land. And I'm going to start off with the Pat McGrath, the Big Mothership Palettes. Look how gorgeous this looks. This is like a bomb flat lay. Like, you might see this on my Instagram. Not my, you will. <laughs> but this flat lay is so bomb. And... um I'm going to start with these first because these are kind of a big ordeal to unbox them and everything like that. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Next so up, we have Mothership One. This is the beautiful packaging right here. She is our cool tone baby. And this is what she looks like. Such a really stunning, stunning palette. And I kind of got this a little bit later on, but I'm really happy to have it. So I didn't pick this up initially when it first launched, but maybe two years ago I picked this up now. And I'm really happy to have it. And I'm really actually getting a lot more use out of it as of lately than I have in the past. All right, we got Mothership Two, and this is one of the original palettes that also released this gold. I mean, this green is <laughs> so beautiful, and so is this shade right here. <sighs> like such a beautiful, beautiful palette. We got Mothership Number Three, and Mothership Number Three is just like 
It's so, so pretty. I mean, look at this color story. This was actually my very first Pat McGrath palette and it launched with the first three palettes. All right, we got Mother Shit number four and she is gorgeous. One of my favorite palettes. I love this particular formula. I hope she gives us another big Mother Shit with just this formula only. I would be so freaking happy. Okay, we got Mothership 5, and this is like the one where people just kind of became a believer and had to have it. So, oh my gosh, like if this was like a Lux Quad, it would be the Lux Quad of Lux Quads. Look at those shades, and I love how she kind of gave us a purple in this one. So, so beautiful. All right, we got Mothership 6. And Mothership 6, I, this was like a silent sleeper. I love this palette from the very beginning, but I found that it's gotten a lot of popularity in like 19 and 2020, but so gorgeous. This shade right here that is called like the Blood Moon 005, one of my favorites. Ugh. Got Mothership 7. I don't use this one it's like I need to. I used to use it a lot, but... Um, I really still do like it, but it's not one of my favorite motherships. But definitely like one of the most wearable ones. The beautiful Mothership 8. Oh, some of my favorite packaging. Some of my favorite packaging for the out uh liar. This palette <laughs> it is it's dirty. <laughs> I use it all the time, but oh my gosh. <sighs> You see, there's a slight dip in the sexual terrestrial. I love to just like blend this shade out all over my lid um, because something about this particular multi-chrome formula, it just really, um, I guess like the base, it's really the base of it and being like a big jelly. Like when you blend it out, you don't get like a really dark line. It kind of just stays true to color and it just kind of fades out really nicely. I don't know if I'm swatching everything, but here we go. So just, just grab a snack, you know. Okay, and now we got Mothership 9. Uh, definitely some of the coolest packaging. Like, look at this packaging. I want some paraphernalia with this packaging for sure. Now the palette, it's really beautiful. I think we just had way too many pinks in the game and I just, I couldn't anymore, I couldn't. So it was definitely a disappointment, especially with the inspiration um, that was going on. But these two shades are very nice. This shade, oh, so this is like the sister, this is Lit Set Stream. And this one is just like ultra creamy. Like, huh. this one, it, it's just really just stunning. Like, look at the shine on that. So, I really do like this shade and I do find myself, you know, coming in, okay, I'm like, can we focus for this shade quite often, to be honest. All right, so I guess we're going kind of according to brand. This one is so reflective, so it's kind of picking up the light. But this is Natasha Denona Face and Glam Palette and this is the version in Deep. Definitely gonna be keeping this. Well, I did just mention, <laughs> I'm keeping all my Natasha's. All the Tasha's are staying, okay. Now we have our retro palette. And this is what she like. I really like this palette. Ugh, so pretty. We got our Natasha Denona bronze palette, a beautiful palette. It's actually, you know, it can count somewhat as a monochromatic palette, but you have some really beautiful tones in here. We have the Glam. This is actually really beautiful. Made me fall in love with the cool tones. I used to be like all about the taupey tones back in the day and tones like this. You know, when I first started wearing makeup, you know, like warms didn't really become a thing until what, like 2018 or something? 2017, 16. Uh, Trio Chrome, one of my favorites. Literally, so good. I wasn't even gonna get it, but I'm really glad I picked this up. Then we have our Metropolis palette. This is one of my favorites also. Um, lots of creams of powder. <laughs> Found a, um, formulas in here, so that's why it does look kinda like, whoo, when you um, <laughs> open it up. But it's really a stunning, stunning palette. We have the Leela palette. So this is what she looks like. I think Leela is actually discontinued, so I'm really glad that I did get my hands on it. And Natasha Denona, we have the gold palette. 
<laughs> can I get it open there we go all right so this is the gold palette such a stunning palette like literally you know this row is of course my jam for real and this row and all the shades they're really pretty I do think like one two and three those mattes are just like too close for comfort <laughs> all right so then we have the cranberry palette and this is really gorgeous I actually just picked this up not too long ago I think 2020, 2019, it was on sale. So I've been enjoying this. Really pretty shades in here. We have the Love palette. So really gorgeous. I started to appreciate this palette more. Like I liked it and then I was like, ah. And now I kind of like it again. We have Sunrise. And this was like her first little palette of this size. And do you see the dip in day spring you, you see it it's a dip <laughs> and then i also love flocks these little lighter shades really surprised me they were just really beautiful and of course these like plummy tones in here um you know the these mattes like carmelian and jasper really pretty as well all right so this is the blue purple palette it's kind of like <laughs> the camera was like what should i focus on all this white so this is really gorgeous i've gotten some use out of this but not nearly as much this year i do want to actually commit to doing a five look <laughs> one palette on my channel with this because it deserves a nice moment all right, so we got another stack of palettes. So now I'm just gonna kind of start just pulling from where I actually keep these. I usually do this video by brands, but I wanna just kind of switch it up now that we kind of got through most of Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath, um, except for like Pat McGrath's quads and six pans, but I'm just gonna kind of pull from where I organize it and let's go. So we have Sydney Grace, Enduring Love. I have the old packaging. This is the sh uh, one in deep, really beautiful palette. So, Yes, I'm going to keep this one for sure. Next up, we have Naughty Nudes by Huda Beauty. This is a really stunning palette. Like, I just love it so much. And actually, like, I feel like these tones actually pull deep enough. And sometimes that could be an issue with Huda. Like, she'll give you enough range, but sometimes they just don't go deep enough. We don't know her, but everything else is just, like, really wonderful. I'm going to keep it. So this one, I'm sad to say I've never even touched this. This is the Feral Palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. My only palette by Menagerie. Really gorgeous. And I'm going to do something with this this year for sure. Because I really want to try out their formula. Well, you can see the tripod. But um, yeah, it, I just... Uh, I don't know. It just gets hidden. I don't know. All the makeup. We have the Huda Beauty... Uh, what is this mercury retrograde and it's this palette is just okay to me like it's beautiful i think my problem is the mattes on here um they just don't kind of pull where i need them to pull on my particular skin complexion but the shimmers are really beautiful um but you know kind of nice to have it in the collection i'll use it some more okay we got our melt beetle juice palettes so really pretty so we got the waiting room with the card and I really love this palette I really love this collection and then we have the recently deceased and I think it was just so well thought out and this is so a little repetitive especially on the bottom row but I do really love this palette Okay, so now we got my color Rain Botanical. This is new. I just got this, so I will be doing something with it. But here we go. Really pretty. And then we have this sister, which is the Rose Garden palette. Um, like I said, I just got these. So these are really pretty new little six pans from Color Rain. So I'm actually really excited to try these out. Okay, we have the Bridgerton collab with Mama Mother. So, Mama Mother, what does that mean? Wait, is she already? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> so, here she is. Um, I'm kind of excited to play with this, to be honest. I don't know. Hmm, we'll see. Melt Vita and Morte. Okay, so we know we're not decluttering this. And Kara, if you see this, I'm hiding this from you. 
Sherry has this one, but it's Morte that just won't come back. And it's so wrong. Like, why do they do that? That's terrible. So definitely keeping these. Okay. This palette is also new to my collection. This is the Melt Smoke Sessions palette. And I just finally bought this because when this palette came out, it was so volatile. Like, <laughs> the shimmers were always breaking. And I think this is before it was in Sephora. And this is actually my second one because the one that Sephora sent me, it actually broke. And I don't know, like this shadow palette is just volatile. I want to keep it, but like Gravity OG is trying to like pull a little fast one on me, you know? I don't know. It's just, huh. when palettes are just so like fragile and I'm already like pretty good with my makeup, it's pretty annoying and I have my lethal palette right here this is the velvet yeah uh, velvet dust palette really beautiful so I'm definitely keeping this one and then like I feel like this is the new palette that is gonna kind of be like how the Morte is and how like the Kaleidos uh, Deep Sea Luster that I do not actually own it's gonna be like because if you did not get your hands on this this is just such a solid palette regardless of who the collaborator was which is Club, um, Angelica Nyquist she just did a phenomenal job on this palette but it's just such the greatest color story it's really really beautiful so you know I'm I'm definitely keeping this this is just a work of art look at this packaging I can't <sighs> look at it okay I'm having so much fun all right so right here we have our Venus and Flores Lux quad this came out with like the Divine Rose Lush collection and here we have this is Voyeuristic Vixen honey she's going nowhere so don't worry y'all I'm gonna clutter something okay doesn't really look like it at the moment but I am and I have these like these palettes are new to my collection I just received them at the end of December so I'll be doing something with them soon and these are by Tammy Tanuka and this is the mini chinchilla and so this is the mini size and as you see this is the regular size so I like how she offers two sizes so if you don't want like all that shadow you can get a cheaper version, a tester version, as she calls it. Um, so, like I said, this is mini chinchilla. And I have a lot of shadows, so that works for me. Even though those, they are kind of tiny. I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> this is the snake. Oh, my gosh. Like, first of all, this shade right here. Ooh, this palette is stunning, stunning, stunning. And then this is the toad. So I would have got a mini in this, but the uh, it was out of stock. So I got the regular, but oh my gosh, like this shade right here. This is so gorgeous. I can't wait to get these on my eyes. I have my Silent Night palette, and this is by Glaminatrix Cosmetics, a new brand that I've like really fallen in love with. Like this dual chrome right here. Okay, we got to swatch her, okay, because you already see how it's like shifting. Okay, this is probably like the worst swatch ever of bottles, but <laughs> okay, there we go. That's better. It's just literally so beautiful and it actually does build up to be opaque. So you don't even need to like put anything down to make it really pop. It's really beautiful. Like look at my finger all right my Danessa Myricks light work she's going nowhere such a gorgeous palette also really bringing out the multi chromes so I will definitely be keeping this I have my Juvia's Place Wahala 2 this is really gorgeous I really enjoy this palette so I'm definitely keeping this and we have some beautiful multi chromes in this also all right so this is my Dow house palette and this is a new brand that i've like fallen really in love with also blend bunny cosmetics maggie the owner was so nice to send this over to me so thank you so much i will be definitely doing like five looks on my channel i got ill so i mean i got really really ill so i haven't been able to do much of anything so um I'm filming this video and it's been a triumph <laughs> so um really gorgeous I mean I have swatched it all and taken some photos but this palette is so freaking gorgeous I just cannot wait to play I have so many ideas 
And then this is another palette that I received in PR. Your girl moving on up, okay? So what's up, beauty? They sent me this palette. This is, what is it, the Desert Monsoon. And this is really pretty also. It's like right on my alley. And I think they're out of Italy. And look at these. The shimmers are really, really nice. The mattes are nice. They sent me some brushes, so yeah. And we have my Wahala palette. Really, really gorgeous. I'm definitely keeping this. This is one of my favorite Juvia's Place palettes. And like the shimmers in this palette, like, come on. Like, are you kidding me? Stop playing. So gorgeous. This shade right here, really gorgeous too. So you have some really nice mauve moments, mustardy moments with green, kind of topish, turquoise. Oh, this turquoise is nice. Um, this row is kind of like, huh, but to me at least, okay, my hand is Ashley, but these, these are so good. Look, look at my fingers. All right. So we got some more Pat McGrath. This is Dark Star. This is one of my favorite six pan palettes. Unfortunately, it is discontinued. This came out at holiday 2018. Really gorgeous. Like these shades are just so, so pretty. All right, so there it is without the card. So you can just really, really see the shades like really, really stunning. So we also have uh, Bronze Temptation and this came out with the same collection as Dark Star in 2018. Really gorgeous as well. Has my one of my favorite shades, Corrupt Copper. This beautiful dual chrome you can find in kind of a couple places. But really, really pretty color story. I really like this palette. I like this format, but in all practicality, it's not practical for when you're doing your makeup because it always closes. But I do like this. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> all right. So we got some more Kaleidos palettes right here. So this is my Kaleidos Futurism for three Astro Pink. Really gorgeous shades. Um, my only complaint about a couple of these palettes, like these matte shades are just always too close. Uh, they don't show up that well. Um, you know, it's different shades, but oh my gosh. Okay, so this shade right here. Just stunningly beautiful. Do you see the shine on that? Really, really gorgeous. All right, so this is actually Futurism 1. This is Sci-Fi Green. Unfortunately, this is no longer available. Really, really gorgeous as well. Same complaint. These two green mats are just like too close. They're, they're really, really close. <laughs> I'm like, why would y'all do that? <laughs> There's no difference between those two colors at all. All right, so right here we have Futurism 5, no, 6, excuse me, 6. And this is Lunar Lavender, really gorgeous. So you get a little bit more. You get more differentiation, <laughs> like they did a better job. And this one and this one is actually, they're, they're okay. So they did a better job of getting those colors kind of like spaced out. <laughs> I have my ABH Subculture palette. This one is really pretty. It was like the first of its time. This is actually my second one because I did have the first one that a lot of people hated it. And I didn't really hate it, but I decluttered it and then I wanted it back. So then I bought the new updated one. So I do like this. And then this is the Jackie Ina in ABH really really gorgeous just a great palette really really pretty okay so right here we have a blitz astro quad and this one is iconic illumination and this came out with the holiday collection of 2019 yeah yeah 2019 really really stunning formula these these perform so smooth you can even use these as a mat because it's like the blitz formula so they blend out really well. All right, so we have made it to the top drawer of <laughs> that gray Sterlite case. So this is where the real work begins, okay. So we have the ColourPop Rendezvous palette and I really like this one, but I also, let's see, I have Savalier that looks very similar. But I feel like the tones are just so different between the two like you really could have both i don't know i don't think i'm ready to declutter these two yet they have been surviving i can't tell you the last time i've used them but okay <laughs> they might show up in a palette rotation so i'm gonna keep that one 
Okay, we have the Sweet Nothings palette. This is not going well as a declutter. So this one is really pretty. Dang, I really like the mattes in this one. Oh boy. Okay, this one, you can't even get this anymore. So it's like, yeah. Okay, so now we got the Nubian 3 Coral. I do want to keep this. I really like these uh, shimmers. Really, really pretty. And so I'm going to hang on to the Nubian 3. I have the Nubian by Juvia's. And this is the first palette. So this one is a really pretty neutral palette. And oh my gosh, I'm not doing well in this clutter. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the maybe because I have a lot like this. Like, I literally have a lot. So I don't, I do use this a lot. Not anymore. I have used that a lot, but not so much anymore. Okay, so I have the Saharan, and I really like this palette. So I'm going to keep this one for sure. Then I have the Afrique. Um, I am ready to let go of this one for sure. Uh, I was holding on to it because of Togo and those two, but I definitely have more shades like this in my collection now. So, okay. Got rid of All right, so this is the very first palette that <laughs> ColourPop did, and it was called the Yes Please palette, but then they put cute AF on there. And it was some really gorgeous warm tones. It was all the rave when it came out, but I can, I'm ready to part ways with this one. All right, so now I have the Whatever palette by ColourPop. I really love this palette, so I'm definitely gonna keep this one. It does have a pressed glitter, but this shade, this shade, the mattes, they're, they're really pretty, so I will be keeping this one. This is the Femme Rosa or She palette. That's when palettes used to have like two names, I don't know. It has some really pretty red, pinky tones in here, some pretty mattes. This is really pretty, but as I look at it, and I, I can part ways with this one. I have the California Love palette, and this one, I, I can part ways with this one. <laughs> I, I can, I'm ready. It was gorgeous, but oh, I don't know. I, I still like ColourPop, but they just released too much, so now I'm just like, I hardly ever buy from them anymore. This is the Butter Me Up. And this was really pretty, but I never reached for it anymore. And I, I can let this one go. Okay, even though this was really probably like a little older, but this palette is the Good Sport palette. I I cannot let this go. I still love it. <laughs> and the shimmers are still pretty good. The mattes, I don't know, the mattes are not that bad, but you know, they're a little drier. But I wish they would re-release this palette. So I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, back to these two. What do I want to do? I, I think I'm going to keep these. I really want to keep these. Like, I just, I can't. I'm going to try to get some use out of these. So I don't know if anybody still has these hanging around, but I'll probably, like, do a palette rotation look with it. So if you have some older palettes, you know. One of my favorite palettes, Colored Rain, Safari Rain. Definitely will be keeping this little gorgeous work of art is so good the quality is really amazing i have the makeup shayla perception palette this is really nice she really did a good job i broke my mirror by accident um but i'm i'm ready to let this one go i really did like this palette um i had a lot of fun using it so you know i think it's time to let it go i have my colored rain empower palette Really beautiful formula, really gorgeous tones, and I'm going to keep her. I have the Nomad by Juvia's, and I like this palette. It's grungy, so I'm going to keep this. We have the Tribe by uh, Juvia's. I love this palette. She's going nowhere, so I'm going to keep this. I have the Saharan 2. Let's see. This one, it's really pretty, but I like, I never use it. So, I mean, not anymore. So, I, I can let this one go. This right here, this is the Alma palette by um, Amy Loves Makeup. And this was in collaboration with Amy Hart's Beauty. So, Amy Loves Makeup actually sent this to me when she collabed. Um, her and the brand, the brand didn't treat her right, but I'm, I'm just kind of keeping it for sentimental reasons and, um, because it was like my first palette that I received in some type of PR. So 
I really like that. The, these shadows were like super pretty, super, super pretty. So this is the Hasina 2 palette. This one is by Blush Tribe. Blush Tribe is no longer with us. I don't know what happened. She re uh, changed the brand to My Alley Beauty, but like Blush Tribe was all the rage on YouTube back in like 2018, 2017, 2016. So I'm not sure what happened. I mean, <laughs> like they were everywhere but I am going to declutter this one all right so you know what <laughs> I, this is the desert dust palette mm. Mm. she might not make it y'all because although these mattes are gorgeous sometimes I just felt like they didn't pull deep enough um they look deep I don't know do I want it to go? I love this palette. She was like one of the first people to come out with like this blood moon color and mm, mm, Turkish delight. I don't know. I, kinda, I like Buda's big palettes better, but sometimes, you know, she does disappoint me. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put it over there. We're gonna think about it. Okay, so we have the Ace Butte Flare Palette. So this one I am ready to declutter. So this is not what their newest formula. I think they've changed formulas a couple times because I think even when they did this palette, it was reformulated. So that was like in 2019, but yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to for it to go. And then this is the Oceanic Palette. I'm keeping this one. This is really pretty. Um, I haven't used it lately, but I, I'm gonna let her stay for a moment. I didn't have any problem with this particular formula. All right, so first up, we have this little Tom Ford quad. This is Photosynthesex. I'm definitely keeping this one. It's really, really pretty. I like the formula on this, so I am going to keep this. All right, so this is the Sir Sonia Zarine palette by Blush Tribe. It was some really beautiful, like neutral tones in here with some teals but i haven't used this in forever <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this right another one i know i want to put on the chopping block unfortunately i had a lot of fun with this violet boss pro this is the holy grail palette this was just like everything when did i get this uh 2017 2018 this was everything back then like uh the, the formula was really nice on here um probably not almost well the mattes were nice the shimmers were nice they were foil a lot of use out of it but it's time to let her okay so we have the violet Voss flamingo palette and i am ready to let her go also so really fun color story um the shimmer is a little harder pressed in this palette but you know what was it 20 2018 2019 when this came out okay so we have the hip dot palette this is the zion palette so i'm ready to let this go also i never really got a whole lot of use out of this palette so I i'm ready to let go of this one i think i did a three looks with this one at one point on my channel all right so now we have our colored rain let's see this is the colored rain queen of hearts we are keeping her for sure i actually just used this not too long ago and it worked still really really well so i'm gonna keep her we have our color rain cheers to the beauty palette and i really like this this palette like the shimmers are really pretty um do i want to keep this i i don't know now that i'm looking at it like these four shimmers right these three shimmers right here Mm, let's see opulence is the shade i know i really like to go person upstairs they scared me i don't know what they slammed down the hall. <laughs> so that blue is pretty i don't know i think their stuff is magnetic so they want to be able to pop out these two shades and put them in some type of palette yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that but because I don't yeah because these mattes and stuff like that I have a bunch of color rain singles so yeah 
and these are the only two shades i like the green one but I'm, i usually like these two the best all right so next up we have the pat mcgrath this is celestial honestly this is enough for that still divinity excuse me and this is the mothership mega she's going nowhere we're keeping her and then we have her little sister which will be celestial odyssey this is another mothership mega this is the one that just released in 21 so you're keeping her as well all right more palettes so now we have the celestial odyssey lux quad and this one is deep space divinity so we're gonna keep her for sure. And then we also have, this is the Astro Lux Quad. This one is from Christmas of 2019. Yeah, 19. Yes, 19. And this is, um, what is this? This is uh, Ritualistic Rose. There's been so many roses since then, but this one is really, really pretty, yeah. But this came out in uh, 2019. And then we also have, this is the uh, Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad from last year. No, from 20 actually, not last year. Um, since we're in 22. And this is Interstellar Icon. So yes, this is from 2020, Christmas. Really beautiful shades. We have another couple ABH palettes. This is Norvina. I still really like her. I used her a couple times this summer. I was really, really enjoying this. So I'm then we also have the Soft Glam. And mm, I think I'm gonna let Soft Glam hang out a little bit longer. We have another Kaleidos palette. This is Futurism 7. And this is Shasimi City. Really, really gorgeous. So like their shimmers just really set off the palette once again these two kind of very similar this one so i was like i kind of wish they would get away from that if they give us any more futurism palette she's going nowhere this is from our dear mel thompson or tiny marvels really stunning sydney grace collab so hmm. At least we get a piece of Mel with us. And then we have Fairy Frolic by Alien Cosmetics. This is the original packaging. I think this is, no, this is still called Fairy, Fairy Frolic. So this is it. I'm definitely keeping this so gorgeous. And this is the Serendipity palette. This one had to change the name. So this is now, I think, Poison Apple. Really, really gorgeous. This is the original um, formulation. I really like this formulation. I'm definitely keeping this one. All right, so another stack, we've made it to that bottom drawer. So I told you them drawers held a lot. <laughs> so this is the Juvia's Place. This is the Violets right here. So I'm ready to part ways with this one. And then we have the Nubian Royal. Yeah, I can do without this one too. This is like a pressed glitter. I'm not even gonna put my hands in it, so. And we have the Nubian Glow. This one, I do like these like little yellowy tones um, and these little mustard shades, so I'm gonna keep this one. There is a press glitter, but I'm gonna keep this one. We have the La Mariposa palette. This is by um, Yami Angelina. Uh, pretty, but it's like all over the place. I've never even used this, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. We have the Mauves. So this has a really beautiful dual chrome, so I'm gonna keep this one. Oh look, okay, so this one I never decluttered. I mean, I never depotted because I depotted my other six pans by Colored Rain. So this is the Beauty Rust palette. And this one I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of because I don't know, like I had, I tried to sanitize it, but I probably didn't know what I was doing at the time. And yeah, like that shade didn't even perform. I forgot I even had this, so that can go. <laughs> I have the berries. I'm definitely keeping this one. Like this shade is stunning. This shade, this is just a really stunning palette. I'm definitely keeping this. All right. So this one, I have like held on to it for years. I use this actually like this spring. And this is the Too Faced Life's the Festival. Because it has some really fun like little dual chromey shades in here. But I'm ready to let it go now that I have a whole lot of dual chromes and stuff in my collection that are better. I have the Melt Blueprint palette. I'm going to keep this one for sure. It's really, really beautiful. I have the Soul Jaded palette by ColourPop. 
I've been hanging around. I never even hardly touched this palette too much. I do like these rolls. I wonder if these are magnetic. Okay, so I might. I don't know. I might. We'll see. We'll see if I use my singles, but. If I can depot these two rolls, that's what makes me hang on to this palette. Because <laughs> I like these little mattes. That you, you know, I really have mattes like this. Okay, we're going to... I'm going to see if I can depot some of those. Okay, and then this is the Masquerade by Juvia's. I am ready to let this one go. They do have it in the mini, of, um, the mini formulation if I want to ever pick it up again. But I'm, I'm ready for this to go. This one is like 2016 old I think and then we have the magic now this one I feel like it's a couple shades in here I will want to do pot like this shade uh, what is it fossil it's really pretty it's you know it's a light dual chrome shade but I'm sure I have something like this in my collection but all right, so next up we have the Khaki Haze by Huda Beauty. And I don't know, the pal these shimmer. This is, I don't know. I I'm going to let her stay another day. <laughs> I'm going to let her stay another day. Like, I don't know. They, they, they are really pretty. The color story is pretty. But, like, these, these little obsession palettes are just not the same quality as... The, the big ones. So I'm, I'm going to let you live another day. <laughs> okay, and I have this little Mario quad. This came out last year with his brand. And this was Rosy Glam. So I'm going to let her, this one hang around. Yep. I'm going to let it hang. <laughs> I haven't used it, but it's not bad quality at all. I haven't used it in a while. All right, more palettes. Let's see, we have the ColourPop Just My Luck. So this is what it looks like. And... I do want to keep this around. I have the main squeeze, and I really like the main squeeze, so I think I, I really like this shade, Juicy Fruit, and because it's like, it's like a gold with that red undertone, so I really do like that, so she's going to stay. We have the Smoke Show, definitely keeping Smoke Show, really, really enjoy this palette. And we have Blue Moon. I'm, I think I'm ready for Blue Moon. Blue Moon can go ahead and go. I'm sorry. I'm going to declutter that one. I have Uh Huh Honey. And I think Uh Huh Honey can go. Because the only shade that I, the only two shades I really like in this palette is Buzzkill and Queen Bee. And like they still swatch. Well, they still perform. They, but you can tell they're getting a little drier. But, hmm. That can go. Now, it's my pleasure. I'm keeping her. She's gorgeous. Like, this shade. <laughs> oh, and it still feels really buttery. Ah, yes. And this was like the second palette that came out. This is Mr. Sandman. Don't have a lot like this in my collection. Really pretty. Look at the shine. This one is really good quality. And, like, if you did a purple look, it wasn't this. I mean, of course, it's purple or mauve but you didn't get the same look all the time there was lots of variations so I'm keeping her I have the wild child and this one is pretty kind of deep and brown and smoky so I'm gonna keep this one since I got rid of the California love and like how it's just brown brown and then I have brown sugar with crunchy and I know this is like old <laughs> at this point I really like this palette I never hardly reach for it because I'm not this strictly this neutral but I'm gonna let that one go because that that's probably like 2017 2016 <laughs> this is the dark edit palette by Viseart I'm definitely keeping this love this little thing it's such good quality and then I have the dark mattes I'm definitely keeping this I always use this especially like with my all shimmer palettes I like use this or my blends bunnies so I'm keeping that for sure and then I have blushing berries by Delsa color I am ready to get rid of this I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this one go and then I pulled this out because it was in the drawer. I have these little Fenty Beauty crayons. 
And I'm like, I always say I want to use them. I never use them. They got to go. All right, so now we got the Makeup Geek Peach Bellini. And this kind of like took the place of that Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced. But, ciao. This is really pretty, but I never use it. And I'm keeping the Coral Palette. I'm going to let this one go. Okay, so now I got the Too Faced. Uh, this is the, uh, what is this? Razzle Dazzle Berry. This is, child, it still <laughs> It still smells like berries. Okay, so I like this one. I'm gonna, I haven't used it yet, but this shade right here is really beautiful. This part, it does it for me. We'll see. I'm gonna keep it. We'll see if it lives. Oh my gosh, I still can really smell it. Okay, so this is the Black pa Magic Palette by Yoma. I don't, I love the packaging of this palette. I think it's so beautiful, but I haven't used it in eons. This shimmer slash whatever glimmer, glitter situation up here is not the greatest. The mattes were just okay. Their, their shadows are just all right. Um, I know their lipsticks and their like contour and other stuff and foundation is great, but... I'm gonna let this go because I always keep it around just because I love the packaging and I can never bring myself to get rid of it, but it's going. All right, so now we have the Fumi palette. This is Fumi times Juvia's Place. This is really pretty, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. I did have fun using it, but I'm ready to let it go. The Melt Cheese and Parties palette, really beautiful plum plum palette. I'm going to definitely keep this one. I'm saying, I don't know. I don't think I want to let this go. This is the Moon Dust palette. I'm, just, I'm not ready. Um, She's probably like 2016 old in my collection, but. Hmm. Hmm. These were great. And then these were kind of its toppers. These were like the first of its kind. Where is this urban again? Yeah, Born to Run. This is a great palette. I'm definitely going to keep this palette. We got the OG Urban Electric. Hmm. Definitely keeping it. It was like first of its kind, last of its kind. They tried to redo it and they even butchered it. But <laughs> I'm going to keep this. <laughs> oh, we have the ColourPop All I See is Magic. This one was, oh, this was holiday 2017. It says that. A lot of my palettes, I can kind of remember where I got them. Now, this one, I'm going to let go. I always hang, keep it around, but I never use it. It survives a lot of declutters, but it's time. All right, so we got some more palettes. These were the last that was in that gray storage thing at the second bottom drawer. So let's see. Oh, Christmas morning by Give Me Glow. We do not get along at all. So honey, you must go. Like, I think I really got a bad one. Um, like this palette just did not work for me. I've tried it a couple times. It just does not perform like everybody else's palette. Um, and I'm done trying to make it work, so you must go. Now, I have the Summer Vibes palette right here, and this has some really pretty tones in it. It's kind of all over the place, but uh, I think I'm going to depot a couple of the shades. No, do I even want to do that? Like, these shimmers actually go on, so ooh. That's beautiful. And these feel clumber. Like the other ones, I don't know. I think I'm gonna uh, depot a couple of them. Because I believe they're, these are magnetic. But other than that, I think they can go. I don't, I don't know. Me and Give Me Go formula, we don't really get along, to be honest. So I'm sad because a lot of people love them, but eh. Too Faced Chocolate Gold. I think it still smells like chocolate. I can smell it outside the palette. This one is absolutely stunning. It's really pretty. Yeah, it still smells like chocolate, but not as bad as that Razzle Dazzle. I'm gonna let her live. Uh, let's see, I got this and, ooh, look, this was like holiday, uh, I think this was like holiday 20, 17 or 2018. Oh wow, I forgot this palette was even down there. <laughs> the Jouer Skinny Dip. Really beautiful shades. It always survives. I never use it. Like, 
do. No, this is like 2017 <laughs> also. All right, I got my Melt Rust palette. So I'm definitely keeping her. That's a very beautiful, grungy, nice color story. Now these next couple of palettes right here, these Naked palettes, they're um, kind of nostalgia for me. So I'm not going to declutter these. This is Naked too. I don't use these anymore, but, but, but I'm just showing them to you because they're in my collection. This is the Naked 3. I love this shade. It's called Trick. It was like really pretty rose gold of its time. But now I like to hang on to these for nostalgia. I have the Naked Smoke palette. And this is cute. But I just want, like I said, nostalgia. And then Urban Decay, the original one, Naked. And I almost decluttered this one, but then they discontinued it. So I was like, I gotta have keep it you know, around. I don't know why. Well, half baked, I guess that's the oil. But they used to give this shade away all the time as a free. So like I probably even have a single of this. So good old memories, but I don't even use these anymore. So we're still in that bottom drawer. So next up, I have these two cutie palettes by Nabla. So I am going to go ahead and keep these. I think I'm going to let them live another round. I'm going to try to get some use out on them this year. So I did like them. Just haven't had a chance to really play with them. I don't know. So I'm going to keep those. I have my Juvia's Place uh, Disco Party. This is Fumi. So I'm going to let this one go because it has two press glitters. So I, I just can't with these press glitters, especially because it's a quad. So it's like half of the shades uh, I cannot use in this one. I really love Fumi, but sorry, girl. And same with this one because it's a press glitter. Really pretty, but I'm going to let it go. This is the Melissa palette. I have, this is the Tintalia and Sydney Grace collab. This is the On the Horizon palette in um, the shade Deep. This is the only one I have. And I really like this palette and I'm gonna keep it. The formula is really impeccable. We have Ace Beauté. This is the Tropical Vibes palette. And I'm definitely keeping this one. This is their most recent formula change and everything has been reformulated to this formula. And it's really, really beautiful. So I think a lot of times they were having a lot of trouble with their mattes, which is like not good because most of their palettes are mattes. <laughs> so they usually don't put a whole lot of shimmers in their palettes. So I'm um, definitely keeping this one. All right, so this one is the Sugar uh, Drizzle. This is the Pizza Kitty one. I love this little palette. I'm not sure why it's a pizza kitty, but whatever. Love it. Really cute. I'm going to keep it. This is the ColourPop Lush Life palette. Really gorgeous color story. Really fun pops of color. Bright, fun. Really good quality for this one, so I'm going to keep it. We have the Totally Blast Nude palette. This is the shimmer version of it. This is from the Glam Shop. Really stunning shimmers. Once again, these are not press glitters. If you're not familiar with the Glam Shop, really, really beautiful. I will be keeping this palette. This is the 2020 Alien Cosmetics Holiday Palette. It's like the palette that started it all for me and my friends, but got us loving Alien, so I will be keeping this. This is a really gorgeous color store. A Alien, which is now Unearthly Cosmetics, actually. And this is a um, actually like dual chrome highlighter palette, or you can kind of use them as eyeshadow. I got the Bunnies palette by Alien Cosmetics. And this is really pretty. I have not used this, so I definitely need to get busy because these shimmers, like look at this shimmer, like this one, Golden Egg. I'm always drawn. Look at the shift. You can see the shift. With that green in it. Really pretty. Like, honey, you know I cannot get rid of that. Anything that's looking like that, so really really pretty we have an alien cosmetics and not normal palette this one is really gorgeous i just wish that they would bring their pan size back down a lot i really don't really like really big pans because it's just it's too much i'm never going through all of this and um I think the newer stuff is more like in this format, but I really like this palette. It's, and this is the Melt Cosmetics More Emira Pulses palette. This is the holiday release for 2021. It is gorgeous. Like, however, like, I don't know. I haven't picked it up since I uh, did my video on it. So I definitely need to use it some more because right now I'm not so much in love with it, but if I probably if I use it more, I would be more in love with it. And the quality was really nice. The mats were really nice in here. And so were the shimmers. So. All right. So we are at that top drawer, that top white drawer. We are moving 
right along. Let's see. We got another Nabla cutie, and this one is more of a cooler color story, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. And we'll see where we evaluate the, during the next clutter. This is the Supreme Nudes by Artist Couture. I do like this. And I am going to keep it. I did pick up the Quickie Nudes and I didn't realize that the Quickie Nudes was literally an edited down version. It had some of the same mats. The shimmers were a little bit different, but you couldn't tell. So I returned it. These two palettes are definitely going nowhere. I probably would never declutter these. <laughs> They're like, uh, even if like, you know, I stopped using it for nostalgia because like Tina, she's just such a good job on this palette. The color story is absolutely amazing. The quality is amazing. It's just a really solid release slash collab, you know, even if it wasn't a collab. It's so solid as a palette. Same thing with the Annette's Makeup Corner one, the Giant Wolf. I love this. Favorite in my collection. Some of my, one of my favorites in my collections really beautiful solid color story i plan to keep on using this for sure right, and we have this is mothership subliminal platinum bronze really gorgeous mama hat so you know they're going nowhere really really beautiful i picked this up later on i found this on makari because i didn't purchase it and i waited around until it was gone and then i was like oh i need it so <laughs> This beautiful baby is the Mothership Sublime Golden Opulence. Really gorgeous. I love this packaging. The packaging is so bold and so beautiful. And these are the shadows. It's more of a muted down color story, but it is nice. So I am, well, I told you, I'm not decluttering any Pat McGrath. So they will stay in my collection forever, even if I stop using them. One of my favorites by her, this is Wild B and Rose. Really, really gorgeous. Mothership Sublime, Bronze Ambition. These three, like the Platinum Bronze, this one in Lobby and Rose, she needs to just make permanent, but so, so good. Star Wars collab, this is a Dark Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, Dark Galaxy. Really beautiful shades. So, so beautiful. And these can also be found in the Celestial Odyssey palette. And then we have his companion. This is Galactic Gold. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And these shades can also be found in Celestial Odyssey. So 12 of the shades in that palette to repeat. In case you're wondering, this is Celestial Odyssey. So these six right here are Dark Galaxy. And then these six right here are Galactic Gold. And these six in the middle are new shades. All right, still going from that top drawer, we have Betty Bean, Betty Bean and Sh Time Shroud. And this is it. It's freaking bats. I love this. I would probably keep this in my collection forever. <laughs> and never do it. From the Glam Shop, I have the Laguna Palette. <sighs> like my best find of 2021. This one I have I have not played with this one on my channel. So gorgeous. One of my favorites by the Glam Shop, this is the Camel Glam. And love it, just love it so much. I have the z -Lone palette. So I think I'm gonna declutter this one and only because we lost the shade right there, but I just got a new one. So I'm gonna declutter this one. And then we have the Paprika palette. So there's Paprika Stunning. Like if you want a great, any of these palettes like that I'm showing right now from Glam Shop, they're monochromatic. If you're looking for a wonderful monochromatic, beautiful color stories, beautiful performance, these shimmers are to die for. All right, so since I'm keeping this one, and I forgot, it does have like that yellowy gold, that yellowy red gold in here, like right here. So, even though, so I'm I'm gonna get rid of the ColourPop one. This one is also by the Glam Shop, can't pronounce it because they are a Polish company. This is a gorgeous purple palette. So this one is a lot different. I pulled out, back out is my pleasure, if you were wondering. So, I'm definitely gonna keep, I'm keeping both of these because I'm definitely fine. I can use both. All right, we got the Caramel Palette by Glam Shop. Definitely keeping this one. Really gorgeous. I haven't really played with this one, but I do plan on it. It's really stunning. All right, we have the Grandeur Palette by ColourPop. 
Um, I I think I can let this one go. No. Mm. No, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it because yeah, this color is beautiful. This and this was really good quality. And then I have Baroque, and Baroque is one of my favorites in my collection. Definitely keeping this. This is a great purple, well, smoky lavender, smoky gray, smoky navy blue tones. It's it's really quite unique to my collection, so I'm definitely keeping. I have my Feast Your Eyes palette by Mac, and I'm gonna keep this one. And then also by Odin's Eye, I have the Herb palette. I love this palette so good all right still going so i'm i i i, I think my camera was off when because i forgot to press record life of the youtuber so um this palette is super gorgeous it's the kaleidos flower punk look at the packaging super unique take it off i'm definitely keeping this palette i would probably keep this in my collection forever it is just gorgeous it is a work of art and we also have um this is mothership um one of the six pans and this one is rose decadence really beautiful color story lots of pinks you know mama likes her pinks all right so now we got my sweet shop palettes by bh cosmetics and this is pistachio really pretty the quality is so great on these oh my gosh then we have orange sorbet really stunning as well i'm like should i keep these leaves i'm not gonna keep these leaves anymore and then we have the bubblegum uh, palette really stunning as well just really great monochromatic palettes where you actually get like different looks and you got cherry on top really gorgeous as well yeah I'm not gonna keep these sleeves <laughs> all I ever wanted by alien yes gorgeous really really pretty like all the duochromes you could ever want for sure then I have my other glaminaceous palette this is the you beauty palette stunning like like I said fastly falling in love with this brand like loving their stuff I got the it's bell break the rules palette really gorgeous really really pretty and this other palette by Isbell this is the Dawn of Fall palette gorgeous this is their newest one I just got this at the end of December so I do plan on doing some looks with this really pretty these shimmer palettes were like all the rage of 21 now I'll keep those sleeves but I won't keep the other sleeves don't make any sense okay this is a Hank and Harry poison palette I've never done anything with it. I've had it. Well, I got it in 2020. Um, and I'm just not. So I wanted it so bad, but then I never did anything with it. And same with the Teddy palette by Hank and Henry. Didn't get into a good home. I've never even like touched them really. All right, so we got the Blueberry Muffin by BH Cosmetics. I am going to keep this really solid palette, really beautiful. I have the Avocado Toast, really gorgeous palette. Also, I will be keeping this. The quality is really nice on those two. Uh, this is the Alien Cosmetics. This is the Seren, uh, Serendipity did the artwork, but this is the Strawberry Milkshake. I'm going to keep this, even though the color story, it, you can get some really pretty looks out of it. I just need to like probably, the color story is really, really bright, but I probably, if I pair it with some other mattes, I can get more use out of it. And then I have the Norns by Odin's Eye. Like I said, I'll keep some sleeves, but not the other. It makes no sense, but really, really gorgeous really pretty palette i definitely need to get more use out of this this is also by it's bell this is their second palette really gorgeous as well so beautiful like you see the shifts these are all dual chromes adept and hydrant love this one of my quickly is i'm loving all of their stuff too loving them right so i have my nomad berlin underground really pretty um, I'm gonna go ahead. I haven't used this much, but I've used it a couple of times. This is why I didn't get the Haunted Europe one because I felt like they were a little bit too close. But um, I actually like the Haunted Europe color story a little bit better, the newest one. But I do like this, and you get some really pretty looks. So I'm gonna keep this. We have this is the Nomad Cosmetics America's Parks. Gorgeous. Like, really gorgeous. You can see 
little shimmers are really, really beautiful. Really solid palette. This is a really solid palette as well. This is the Nomad Fire and Ice. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is the Marrakesh palette. This one is really pretty. I would think I'm gonna find a, a better home for this one because, yeah. I don't, I have not, I have not grabbed for this at all. All right, so this is the color Rain Juicy Boost and <laughs> this one, it, it, it has to go, unfortunately. Like this has so much potential, but the mattes weren't that great. I think they reformulated um, to make it, um, how did they do it? To make it vegan formula, but the, for, the quality really went down, but these shimmers are really gorgeous. So I plan to depot these shimmers. <laughs> All right, if you have made it this far, God bless you. This is it. <laughs> the last stack. We have the Codeine palette by Adept. Gorgeous, definitely keeping. I have my Mary Jane palette by Milk Cosmetics. Definitely keeping, really pretty. The Sigma Untamed. It's a really gorgeous palette. We have the Turbina Glam Shop. This is a Glam Shop palette. Also, beautiful. These are not press glitters, not at all. This is the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. I don't really care for this palette, but I'm not gonna declutter it. We have the Circle Loco palette. It's really great. It's really cute. I like this cluster. I'm still confused about the two oranges. What's that one? I like that one, but these Cheeto puff colors, <laughs> I'm, I'm good on it. Ooh, and these are my other two Blend Bunny palettes to wrap it up. And this is the Blend Bunny Surge. Love this. I have fallen head over heels for this brand in 21. So gorgeous. The mats, the blend bunny formula is just like unclear. It's like, mm, it's really great. And then this is the first one they did, which is the blends, which is rainbow. And with like your shimmer palettes, all these shimmer palettes, like this I showed you, and even this one, because it has shimmers, but this, if you want some grungier, they work out really, really well also. All right, so we, we got these three palettes. Whew, okay. So after going through everything, I, I know this one is older. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This was like a favorite neutral palette for me, but I have the Pat McGrath one. So I'm gonna declutter this one. And then let's see, I have the Sweet Nothings. I'm going. Hmm. I got those other purple palettes. I'm going to declutter that one, even though these are a little bit more lighter. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Norvina. Yeah, it did remind me of Norvina. And I have the ABH one, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. All right, and then Miss Huda. You know what? I have these colors so many times in my collection. I'm not that crazy about these mattes anymore. Um, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette, a little bit ahead of its time. I'm gonna declutter it. Okay, for the recap, <laughs> I'ma pull out so you guys can see you can probably see the edge of my monitor in the cord, but these are the palettes I am decluttering. So for the grand finale, and if you guys realize these these three palettes, I said I was going to like, you know, depot them, but I decided I'm just going to declutter them. I have so many shades like it. So I have 43 palettes I'm decluttering. And then I, when I was counting, I found these two palettes by Pat McGrath. This is like the... Um, this is the little eye ecstasy kit. This is the first one she did. So, like I said before, I'm not decluttering any Pat McGrath, but I found these two. I was like, oh my God, I didn't show them. This is Nocturnal Nirvana right here. So, gorgeous, gorgeous. This was also a part of that, um, the 20... 18 holiday collection okay so just for the recap i have 43 palettes that i'm decluttering i have three palettes that i intend to depot a couple of the shades and i have 169 palettes that are still remaining in my collection and so that means before we started the declutter i had 215 
palettes. <laughs> that is a lot of palettes. <laughs> so I hope you guys really like this video. I know it's been long, but we, this is the chair dance. Please subscribe to my channel. I feel really good about it. I decluttered. And hit the notification bell so you know when you get the next video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And you already know how we end the videos around here. We're gonna do a modified chair dance. Chair dance. Hey, 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 chair dance. Mm, mm, my hands are so ashy. Chair dance. Mm, 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 chair dance. Mm, mm, chair dance. All right, y'all. Bye.